Depth of field effects are a useful tool in photography and cinematography because of their aesthetic value. Capturing and then displaying dynamic depth of field in live videos was until recently a quality unique to movie cameras. Movie cameras, however, tend to be bulky and unwieldy in order to accommodate complex lens arrays and storage media and are usually very expensive. The recently proposed light field camera array can synthesize dynamic depth of field effects by using an array of images, but requires even more sophisticated setups. In this paper, we develop a hybrid stereo light field solution. Our imaging system combines a high resolution color camera and low resolution grayscale camera to form a stereo pair. Coupled with real time processing, it can produce dynamic depth of field effects on live video streams with varying aperture sizes and focal depth at a resolution of 640 by 480 at over 15 frames per second. Here we demonstrate using our system on a live toy car scene. We first synthetically focus at the car. As the car moves towards the camera, it quickly falls out of focus. We can synthetically change the camera's focal depth to bring the car back into focus. Our system begins with the capture of a stereo image pair, composed of one high resolution color image and one low resolution grayscale image. We first downsample the high resolution color image and convert it to grayscale, and recover a low resolution disparity map on the GPU using belief propagation. We subsequently upsample the disparity map to full resolution by applying the fast joint bilateral filter. Finally, we combine the upsample disparity map and the high resolution input image to form a light field and synthesize dynamic depth of field effects via light field rendering. Details of each stage of our pipeline can be found in the paper. A crucial step of our real time stereo matching module is to choose the proper parameters to fit different types of scenes. We have developed an interface to dynamically change the parameters. Since our system runs at interactive speed, we can instantly see the results and fine tune the parameters accordingly. Here we show the recovered disparity map of the previous toy car scene. We are able to reduce high quality results at over 30 frames per second. Notice how our upsampling scheme preserves the edges around the head and the shoulders of the girl. We do however observe some artifacts in highly specular areas such as the lower left corner of the car's windscreen. In this example, we first fix the focus at the woman and synthesize varying aperture sizes. Notice how the blur level changes as we increase or decrease the aperture size. Next, we shift the focus to the background and again vary the aperture size. A unique feature of our method is that it correctly preserves the boundaries between the in focus and the out of focus regions. Details of this analysis can be found in the paper. Here we reproduce dynamic depth of field effects on a live sequence of a woman drinking coffee while reading. At first we focus at the mug and then shift the focal plane back towards the woman and then to the background. Finally, we shift the focal plane back to the foreground. Our system is able to faithfully synthesize spatially varying defocus blur at interactive speed. In this last indoor scene, we are able to capture the faster movements of the woman when she plays cards. We can dynamically shift the focal plane from the distant background wall to the box in the extreme foreground. Finally, we show our results on two outdoor scenes. In the first scene, we use 50 disparity levels to account for a more distant background while still having the ability to bring either person in the scene into focus. In our last outdoor scene, we shift the focal plane from the background to the arriving car in the foreground. Notice the reflection of the trees in the windscreen and how they become blurry as we shift the plane of focus to the background.
Lastly, we shift the focal plane to the parked car in the middle ground.